So I'm out here today on a VRV3 system. Uh, found a prime opportunity to give a tutorial on the EEV Mate, which is um, designed and sold by my buddy Kevin Mate. Uh, this little guy comes with a 120 volt power supply, uh, but we did the Anchor uh, USB portable power supply for ease of use, a little bit more convenient. So you'll notice on this particular EEV, the stem is sticking way out. So right now it's in forced recovery mode, so that stem should be fully retracted. So the beauty of this thing is we can just turn it on, got a little toggle switch on the side, give it a moment to boot up. Say EV mate, and so right now we're at zero steps, so we're just getting started. And so, in order to retract this thing, we've got this little joystick. We're just going to press down and then pull it back. And we can watch that motor drive in. And so, you hear some noise coming from that motor. Uh, those gears are probably getting a little bit worn, might be some um, deterioration. Of this little assembly here so it's probably going to be a good idea to go ahead and replace this one but this one will definitely get you by um, by the use of this tool uh, kind of get you out of a bind so to speak so this is a great tool for um, troubleshooting uh, eevs to make sure that they're functional um, and then you know kind of get you out of a bind like in this scenario here so we're going to drive it all the way down till it reaches the bottom we're going to kind of let it beat the seat so to speak and so it's all the way home and so now uh, we can put this EEV head um, back on the valve body while the system's in force recovery. And uh, we're going to see much better operation this way. Uh, like I said, I probably need to go ahead and replace this EEV head. Um, usually, when they get that far out of calibration, um, it's for a reason. So, anyways, that's the EEV mate.